Hi, this is Dr. Fryer. Today is September the 3rd, 2020, and in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can make a dialog um, project using Scratch. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to click Create, and that will help you create a new Scratch project. You're going to want for this project to use at least six vocabulary words from one of our movie talks. And so what you might want to do uh, along with your Scratch project um, and just have this open is go ahead and go to our website and go to vocabulary. And then you can choose whether in this case you want to use our Monsters, Inc. or, or our Cars vocabulary. And so you can use, um, you can use these words and you're going to want to use at least six of them. So here in Scratch, you're going to want to first um, uh, add your characters. And if you want to use the Scratch Cat, you can. But your characters are here in the bottom right. So you're just going to go ahead and click there. And you can choose to click on the trash can if you want to get rid of, of that sprite. And then you can click here to add a new sprite. So I'll go ahead and click here. And there are lots of different choices for what you can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use uh, two of the cars that are here, because um, I'm going to be doing one from cars. So I'll go ahead and add that uh, convertible, and I'll go ahead and select another one. And again, you can search if you want to to um, limit what you find. And then you've got these, uh, these two um, objects that you're going to be able to use. So I'm going to go ahead and um, select a background for my project. So this is a backdrop. So I can click on here and find a backdrop. I think I'm going to probably want to do something with a road. So there's a colorful city. And I'll go ahead and move my cars here. Now, these are both going the same direction. And I think I actually want them to... Um, one of them to be going the other way. So on the convertible, the purple one here, I'm going to click on his costume. And this is where I can choose to do some things like flipping. So I'm going to click flip horizontal here, and that'll just flip the car around to the other side. So now I've got my green car, who's going to be here on the left side, and I've got my um, purple car, who's here on the right. Now, I can move them around and do some other things. But for this video, I actually just want to show you how to make them talk. And so I'm going to always use uh, an event flag to start things. And so I'm going to use a green flag. And I'm going to have my um, uh, green car talk first. And so when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to have it say something. And that's actually under looks. And I'm going to use this block that says uh, say something for two seconds. Uh, and so the first word I'm going to be using is called uh, is going to be the novato. That means the rookie. Um, so instead of saying hello, I'm going to say um, hola novato. And I'll have an exclamation point. Um, we'll be working on, on our Chromebooks how to uh, use the special characters so that we can get the upside down exclamation point. Um, here on my Mac, I can press option one and I can get that. We'll talk about how to do that on your Chromebook. So now we've got a project where this car is going to say hola novato for two seconds. So if I click the green flag, there it goes. Now I need to have a block for my convertible, uh, for my, my purple car, my morada car, um, or my, my mi coche morado, the purple car. Um, and so I'm going to, again, start with a green flag, but I'm going to actually use a control block and I'm going to wait. So I'm going to just do two seconds, two seconds. So my green car is going to say, hola novato, and now my green car is going to wait, and then it's going to say something. So I'm going to have the same block say hello, but I have to decide... Uh, what it's going to say. So in this case, and uh, I'm going to um, also use my exclamation point here, and I'm going to say, um, hola, and let's say, um, well, I'll say, hola, um, coche verde, because this is the green card. So again, I'll click my green flag, and here we have, hola novato, and it says, hola, coche verde. Uh, so I can just repeat this. And so, um, there's uh, a couple ways. I, if I, if I want to make that a little bit faster, I can actually drag off these blocks and duplicate them, and that will just make the, the same blocks again. And so that can be faster. So in response um, to hola cocha, cocha, coche verde, um, I still need to have my wait two seconds, but then I'm going to um, have the same kind of block. So again, I could 
I can two finger tap and duplicate if I want to, or I can drag these blocks out again. So it says, hola novato, and then it says, hola coche verde, and now I have to decide what it's going to say here. And um, I think I'll uh, say, um, are you going to the competition? So that would be la, la competencia. And if you need, if you have questions about these, you can go ahead and ask me and I'll be glad to help you, especially with the verbs like this. So this question is going to be, vamos al, uh, well, it'd be vamos a la competencia. And so again, I'll have a, I'll have a question mark there. Let's see if I can do this backward question mark. I don't know how to do that one actually. I'll have to, I'm gonna have to experiment around to figure out how to get that character on here. Um, but he's asking, are you going to the competition? And so after waiting six seconds, I'll say, see, si, um, yo voy al estadio, uh, because the stadium is one of the other words that's on here. Um, that's a that's a vocabulary word, um, el estadio, right there. Okay, so let's play this and see how this works. I'm going to make this full screen and go ahead and play this. And I need to move myself. Hola, novato. Hola, cocha verde. Vamos a la competencia. Sí, yo voy al estadio. So you're going to uh, you follow the same format, uh, but you're going to want to uh, use six different words. And as I said, you can just basically repeat that process. There's always ways to get this fancier. We can move the cars around. We can have them do other things. Um, but this is just a really basic, simple dialogue that we're going to do in Spanish. And we're going to do that by uh, using two characters and using that simple pattern of blocks where we're waiting two seconds and then we have our next phrase come in there. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing what you'll create.